Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How the Ukrainian small electronic computer mass which developed in 1915 introduced pointers and changed the world. Today we will discuss the significant and appreciated importance of the mass computer in the development of port information technologies, and in particular, the role of this computer in the birth of high-level programming. This computer played a significant role in enabling the most important inventions of mankind in the field of information technology. The mass computer was completed in October of 1915 in Theopony, a suburb of Kiev. This computer was the first computer developed in continental Europe and is known around the world today. Many interesting things have been written about this computer, about this creation and its achievements in carrying out the most important calculation, including military and civil navigation calculations for air and navy, and for calculating the trajectories of space rockets. However, the true value of this computer goes far beyond the limits that are defined commonly known sources. The fact is that this computer has three unique features that its developers wrote about. But the developers themselves didn't have the opportunity at the time to realize the enormous significance of those features for all mankind. Yuri Yushchenko, the son of Katerina Yushchenko, who was the first person to start programming complex calculations on computer medicine, is with you here today. Katrina Yushchenko invented pointers. The great importance of pointers is obvious to every programmer because they are used in all modern programming technologies. List chains, complex hierarchical structures and means of decorative programming are all based on pointers and already in 1955 were including in address programming language, one of the world's first high-level programming languages. The tools that were first invented and used by Ukrainians are now used to solve artificial intelligence problems in databases and knowledge bases and in general, no modern programming technology can function without them. All applications that we use in computers, tablets, smartphones, etc. are designed using pointers. The significance of which for humanity can be compared with the significance of the invention of the wheel. Most scientists continue to mistakenly believe that pointers were invented in the United States by Harold Lawson in 1964, although in fact they were invented nine years earlier, in Ukraine. Due to the fact that pointers, list chains and complex hierarchical structures were already used in the address language for years before they were used elsewhere. This language had been the most powerful programming language in the world for at least a decade, and the total use of this language lasted more than 20 years. Unfortunately, none of this is widely known. Mankind's interest in the history of the origin and development of information technology increases with the growing importance of these technologies for absolutely all spheres of human activity. The questions that we are now considering were impactful to all of mankind and extremely important for preserving the history of the emergence of such an important industry as information technology. Subscribe to channel dedicated to unknown pages of IT history, like this video and leave a comment under the video. This will contribute to the dissemination of interesting, unknown and very important information about the history of the emergence of information technology. Humanity respects the history of information technology. And many people know about the achievements of Ukrainians, but there are many gaps.
Even in Ukraine itself, there is a lot unknown about the achievements of Ukrainians in the IT field. In recent years, the attention of Ukrainian historians has been paid exclusively to the achievements reported by the media during the totalitarian communist regime. But the achievements that the regime deliberately and artificially concealed remained on the sidelines. The attempts of the communists to hide the history of the development of the MESM computer were not insignificant. For example, talks about the developers of MESM at the Viktor Glushkov Institute of Cybernetics was not very welcome, and all copies of Lev Stashevsky's and Katerina Skarbara's book, How It All Began, about the history of the development of this computer, were removed from the library of this institute by order of the director. The MESS computer had three unique features that its other predecessors did not have, and which enabled the people of Kiev to develop the most important inventions of mankind in the field of information technology. As already noted, the developers of the MESS computer described these three unique features but did not have the opportunity to realize their impact on the origin of programming, and on information technology in general. The causal relationships between the features of MESS and the advent of high-level programming, and the invention of pointers are known to me from the stories of my mother, Katerina Yushchenko. First, feature. The arithmetic device of parallel action accelerated the performance of arithmetic operations by a dozen or more times. Abroad, the first use of parallelism is mistakenly attributed to the architecture of the Americans in 1951. The parallelism of the arithmetic processor MSM suggested to the developers of the world's first asynchronous universal computer, Kiev, the possibility of simultaneous operation of different computer blocks, including input and output devices, with the processor. Also in the address programming language, which is inextricably linked with the development of the computer, Kiev, the means of simultaneous parallel execution are provided. Today, we are accustomed to our fast devices, which have many processes and many cores. So everyone should know that it was Ukrainians who first opened this important path to computer performance, before also proposing and applying parallelism tools in programming. In the summer of 1952, Oleksiy Lyapunov investigated the features of programming on MESM and proposed a mathematical formalism to present programs, the operator method of programming which was understandable to mathematicians because it did not contain binary codes. Oleksiy Lyapunov in 1953 published an operator-based method of programming in a scientific article. What was the second unique feature of? The second feature is the possibility of dynamic program modernization. Katerina Yushchenko and Oleksiy Lyapunov drew attention to this opportunity. If a program can change itself, it is able to change arbitrary memory cells in order to program another program from them. Hence, for the first time in the world, the term programming programs arises, which later became known by terms of foreign origin, compilers and translators. The Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, IEE, recognized that work of Oleksiy Lyapunov on about operator programming started high-level programming in the Soviet Union, and for this, Lyapunov was awarded the most prestigious honor in the field of IT, the Computer Pioneer Medal. There is a very controversial opinion that in 1954, it was under the influence of operator programming that the beginning of the creation of the Fortran language was announced. Perhaps this is so, and it is possible also that this is not the case. In addition to the prompts about creating translators, the possibility of dynamic modernization of programs has allowed us to model pointers in the MESM computer programs. 
This was facilitated by the constraints of MESM memory resources, which forced the programmers to invent and use exquisite and efficient programming techniques. One of these techniques was that the programs did not indicate the addresses of the location of the incoming data, but instead the addresses that indicated the addresses of the incoming data. Programmers can see the principles of pointers in this. This was necessary, so that without changing the original text of the program itself, it had the ability to receive certain input values at the input. Third, Feature, central and local management of program execution for the use of subroutine libraries. There were two special counters in the MESM computer, the counter of the main, central, program and the counter of the called, local, program. This did not allow the program that was called to call another program. This significant limitation was eliminated when designing the computer, Kiev. It was decided to provide the ability to call an arbitrary and pre-unknown number of subroutines. It is obvious to programmers that you can easily get rid of this restriction using the stack, or store. That's right, taking into account the reception of the use of pointers and the restriction of the MESM computer to call only one subroutine has been removed. The source of the idea that led to the invention of signs is indicated in the monograph, Machine, Kiev. Mathematical description. As we saw, the MESM computer and its unique features played a crucial role in the birth of high-level programming, and in the discovery of the most important and powerful tools in programming. The significance of the MESM computer is not only that it was the first in continental Europe and was used to carry out important calculations, but also because it pushed scientists towards the most important inventions for humanity. I have a question. What other computer in the world is more important than the MES computer for the birth and development of information technology? Write your answers in the comments. Subscribe to channel dedicated to unknown pages of IT history, like this video and leave a comment. This will contribute to the dissemination of interesting, unknown, and very important information about the history of the emergence of information technology, which was hidden by the totalitarian communist regime.